AI casualty projections in the Hamas-Israeli conflict. Oh dear. Hello, this is Chart GPT Today. Yes, I know this may seem a little cold and cal calculating and not to, to discount any of the horrors of war, but it is useful to understand what the potential casualty rates are, so we're going to do some projections here using the AI models and so we're going to see if uh, if it will affect the, the geopolitics uh, going forward so it is important to understand what's going on relative to the current strategies being employed by both sides of the conflict first off we want to show that you know casualty rate numbers are always hotly disputed in wars for obvious reasons obviously Israeli wants to show that they're being uh, surgical in their efforts and of course Palestinians want to show that how they're being collectively punished so there's that but you can see the differences there can be anywhere from 30 to 50 percent divergence between depending on who wants to write the history so to speak so there's that so keep that in mind when we look at this we're going to use the Israeli numbers in our calculations so you'll have to deduct our increase relative to whether you believe the Palestinian numbers or not kind of look at some of the human costs historically um, we can see that uh, it has been hugely outweighed to Palestinian losses relative to the Israeli losses and here's a little bit more of a detailed you can see that this conflict by far will probably be the worst in recent memory. Here's a chart that kind of shows you kind of the current status. I think these numbers are a little off. I think the one in the description box we provide some of these links to to validate what uh, give citations around the numbers that we're presenting here. About 9,900 is the latest I've seen, but this, so this is a little bit off. Cause obviously, this is a changing number in terms of how many Palestinian casualties. So we also look at some more detail in terms of food security. You can take a look at that. How many people have been displaced? 40,000 housing units, 220,000 partially damaged homes, and different things that have been destroyed. And so you can see see these numbers there. Obviously, it's devastating if you want to get into the details. So let's get into the AI projections. Now, we have a few assumptions before we present this. We're assuming about 2.2 million uh, Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. To date, according to about 9,900, well, let's just call it even 10,000 for for calculations sake about 10,000 Palestinians have have died so far according to the latest numbers and this is coming out of the mainstream media about 1500 Hamas combatants have been eliminated and about 29 IDF soldiers now keeping also in mind and the assumption this is considered a linear casualty rate if we calculate this and project the same casualty rate rate out we come up with our uh, casualty counts now on the upside there'll probably be less casualty rates as you go forward because they'll have more precision as they go street to street however the combatants on the IDF's soldiers probably go rise quicker because it's obviously more dangerous to go street to street as opposed to bombing from the sky so at the current rate uh, at the current rate up to date the total Palestinian Palestinians to be eliminated to reduce Hamas to zero uh, is 226,000 the IDF's uh, losses will be around 774 Obviously, if you believe the Palestinian numbers, this will be considerably higher. If you think that the linear rate will, will decline, that will be a little bit lower. Between, so it's going to be somewhere between 100 and 400,000 here when it's all said. If, and again, if you reduce Hamas to zero. And of course, on the combatant side, the IDF soldiers, it could be anywhere from 700 and even higher as they go into street to street fighting. Again, we're being very cold and calculating here. I know it sounds horrible to talk like this but it is what it is so again you'd have to make some assumptions in here uh, relative to whose numbers you're going to project here what is the likelihood of this happening well probably nil because uh, we've shown this chart before but somewhere between now around the 10,000 to 50,000 the politics is going to change and people are not going to accept these kind of casualty rates if we continue at, at this rate so my guess is that the geopolitics will probably change. We're already seeing a lot of uh, protesting already in the streets, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, they're obviously the strategy of Hamas is to create a genocide to bring sympathy and a wider conflict. If we have a wider conflict, obviously these numbers go way out. <laughs> so that's another issue. And again, you know, these numbers are not necessarily, I mean, being a bit cold and calculating, but it is the horrors of war, and these are the sad realities. It will uh, obviously change the geopolitical situation and most likely none of these numbers will occur but it is interesting to see that so you can begin to see what's moving the politics here check out the AI you can uh, change the equation however you would like to get a different outcome based upon your beliefs if you think our assumptions are wrong 
and take our online poll. Do you think these casualty numbers are real or false? And don't forget to subscribe.